Hello everybody and welcome back to Dyson's Freedom Program. As always, I am Dort, and today we're going to go ahead and set up a deuterium little line. Um, but we're also going to finish off with the Dyson Sphere, I think. Um, unless we need more stuff after we fill in the initial 720 um, thingies that it wanted. Uh, we'll do we'll do 10 on each side for right now. We'll leave the rest of these alone in case uh, if we need them. We have a ton of them made already. Um, we, we have a ton of the raid receivers as well. We're going to lay down here in a minute. Uh, we need to go over here and grab one of our our tower thingies. Uh, do we have any on the track? Because that's going to mess up that thing. Yeah, we do. Cool. We have three of them now. That's fine. Um, I have a ton of these guys down right now, right? On the uh, gas giant. That is causing some issues because now we have, we have just so much hydrogen coming in. But we don't have all that much deuterium coming in. And I don't have any factory placed down to make the deuterium because we need the particle colliders for it. Um, but I saw a video a couple days ago. Forget exactly. But uh, this setup with the uh, the colliders is actually slower or worse, a, a worse uh, turnover than just running them into the, the thingies right here. These guys. Um, so we're going to try this method, right? And if it works out, cool. If not, no biggie. Um, it's it's just we need we need deuterium right now because that is our major holdup. Um, so hopefully with this, we're able to... Uh, actually, I want to go ahead and get it to kind of be in the middle of the area here. Uh, hopefully with this, we can get things running again because right now we need these things. Uh, this is what's really uh, holding up our whole thing. I think this needs deuterium, right? Am I tripping? No, this needs it. Uh, this one, and I think some other stuff. I could be wrong. It might just be this one. But we need we need this stuff to be making the warpers, and we need it to be making the green... I think we need it to be making the little green, uh, like, pebble-looking things. I forget what they're called. Um, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to place a couple of these down, hopefully in a way that we can actually pull the hydrogen out. Uh, if we do that, can we run a belt down the center? Or is it going to... No, it's not going to let us do that. If we do that, right, um, and then we'll run it back toward the uh, the thing. So then that means we should be able to put one right here next to it. Yeah. And we can go ahead and feed it back in. Like so. Cool. So then we need that going back into the tower. So... Let's see if we can do this. We're going to have this one like this. Colliding with other object. Okay. Mm. That'll work, I suppose. That'll work, right? So then we can do this again. And then have these two meet up into that. Right? And then we can place the tower somewhere. That it's kind of centered and have these things going out and in, maybe? So, uh, let's say we had hydrogen in here. We need it going out. Can we do that? Like so, yes. And can we do it from here, too? Uh, let me... What, I don't want to be selecting that thing, dang it. There we go, there we go, and into that. Cool, okay, and then we can have the deuterium going right back in, and we're going to have the uh, the hydrogen on this end finishing up into this thing as well, right? So it's uh, so it's just going around in a loop, and hopefully that works out, right? We're going to do, uh, we need to go grab another stack of the stuff, but we're going to do 10, a line of 10, see if that works out. Uh, we can We can go a little bit longer, I forget exactly how long. Uh, we can if we want to. So we'll do uh, two, three, four, and five. And then hopefully this is going to be enough to, to keep running. Um, again, we have just an absurd amount of hydrogen. So if we need to spam a ton of these things all over the place just to start turning out uh, an, a, an absurd amount of deuterium, then we will because that's kind of an important important thing currently for us uh, I guess we don't need to go grab more we have enough I thought we needed more but we're good okay so now we just need to belt it up and get some power down and then we're good we can uh, we can start running this 
and hopefully it's going to be just what we need. Okay, so this is going to be coming back down and going back into the tower. And the same thing with this side. And I have to remember that as I'm placing down the belts so I don't accidentally have it uh, going into the wrong way and then causing a backlog. So that'll work. want to go into the machine. I don't want to go into the machine. I'm going to go onto the belt. Dang it. There we go. So that works. Nope. Nope. Stop targeting the other machine. Oh, the hitboxes are a little wonky. Okay, and then we can just drag this down over and back in, and then we're just going to have it cycle back through like in a big loop. That's going to turn out the deuterium. And then we will see if we are good because the towers that we have over on the planet, the, the gas giant right now, um, I think the, the way the drones are set up right now, they're, they're meant to be bringing back full loads. So they won't come back unless there's 600 deuterium in the tower. And those things generate super slow for, for that at least. Um, they're, all, they're all pretty much full on, on hydrogen, but they're struggling on... Uh, Deuterium. I don't know if that's different on each gas giant. I don't know if like if we go to the uh, the Haman uh, system that we were at, if that gas giant there will produce more uh, deuterium. You know, uh, let's do that. But we also need to um, if we do that, we would need to feed our uh, spaceships warpers so they can go back and forth without uh, without uh, having to wait. Can I not put these here? Oh, that's not good. I can't put these anywhere. It's considered colliding with the whole thing. Okay. Uh, so I need to... Oh, that's annoying. I need to scoot this one over one. Okay, so with that set up, we can go ahead and set this on to demand. That'll instantly pull in all the uh, hydrogen that's in the area. And then all we got to do is wait for it to come in, and it should cycle through. Uh, I think we get, like, a decent turnover. I don't think we're going to be breaking in a ton, but we should be able to start filling up these machines. Uh, a couple of these towers, right, as we wait for the stuff to come in, or not a couple of them, pretty much all of them, I had to set limits on the amount of stuff that comes in. So I limited everything to 1,000, uh, and, and the stuff that is being made I didn't limit those so if I have 10,000 or 5,000 uh, engines and stuff just sitting in backlog then I'm fine with that I just don't want every machine tower thing to be filling up 5,000 of each item because then uh, our furnaces and stuff can't really keep up um, oh our things running already I didn't even see that uh, but yeah here we go we have the deuterium coming down the line here we have the hydrogen just cycling through I think we can even make this line a little bit longer um, I just went with 10 just for the sake of kind of being safe uh, because I didn't really know what we were going to be doing there. But we were making apparently 70-ish a minute every now and again here. So that's not terrible. Um, it'll do what we need it to do. Uh, this is this this power strip down the planet is nice, but it doesn't really produce all that much. It only produces four 480, I think. Um, so that's why... That's why up over by our spawn here, we had the other stuff down. So this stuff should be running, right? That's not the one I want to click on. Is it the one I want to click on? This one. So yeah, now we're getting it into this. So these things should start running again. And we should start building up some of these. We apparently have six in storage already. It just took 70. Or it took something. I don't think it's actually taking 70 when it says that. Uh, but okay. So we can go ahead and grab this stuff from over here now. Uh, so we can go ahead and place down the... Did I fly by it? No, it's up here. Um, but yeah, th this is why we have so much hydrogen, so I'm just burning it all off. Uh, even even with these, I'm only making another, I think, like 200 watts. I'm not really doing anything too crazy with these. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're really not making a dent into the uh, to the backlog that we're bringing in from the, the gas giant. So it's not really, not really a, a thing, I suppose. Um, I think we might need some more drones, but f whatever. We're going to take these guys. And do we have anything else that we need to take with us? I don't think so. We do need to grab. Um, we need to grab. We don't need that. We need the rocket tower. And if I was the rocket tower, where would I be? 
I think I might have gone past it. Yep. Let me let me find the rocket tower. See, we have a thousand we have a thousand rockets currently, so we're done with that first step. As soon as we were able to build this thing and put it into to work here. Let me take some drones with me. I think I need some drones. Okay, so I found the towers here. Uh, we currently have nine, so that's going to help speed things up. We have 118 of these ones that shoot up the uh, the swarm. We're not going to worry about that right now, right? Because last episode I said, oh, we're not making any power off this thing, so I don't know how we get it, but we were. We were just in a blind spot from the uh, reactor thing, or from the uh, this thing. It wasn't in a spot where we could actually... Um, oh, we didn't need drones actually. So I'm gonna pull all the tower, all the rockets to this area. Um, but yeah, we, we were just in a blind spot, so we weren't actually making any power. But we were kind of making power, right? We were we were getting a little bit from it, but not as much as we could have been getting. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and lay these things down, right? We're gonna go around in this little area here. We're gonna try and follow this line so that we can get as many in as we can so it's kind of like the windmills we can't place them right next to each other but we can kind of space them out a little bit and so we're going to do that i don't know if the more of these that we have down the better but it does seem like each one of these only has a limit to how much power they can actually like take so uh with the swarm we were only able to take uh what was it 12 million i think it was so i'm i'm hoping that each one of these is able to pull 12 million and if that's the case if the uh the dyson sphere gets up and running and it it's outputting a crazy amount of power at least we'll be able to to properly consume it and hopefully we have enough coming out of the sphere to to be able to strip off the uh power strip down the center and kind of rearrange the uh the middle bit of our factory where all the stuff's just kind of clumped together because we ran out of room um gotta gotta redo that a little bit clean it up and add some more add some more uh, machines and stuff. I think I'm placing these off that center line. There we go. I think I was, yeah. Let's go ahead and finish off this ring. Um, I'm trying to mine up the stone right here, right? I don't want to hide too many more minerals on this planet. Uh, like the majority of the coal that's left I think is all under all under the factory right now because I hit it all instead of uh, setting up mines and stuff to mine it because I wanted to just go ahead and get the factory up and running so that should be good yeah we we're, we're kind of filling up the chest here but there's only so much it's gonna hold before we we can't put any more in there so eventually we'll, we'll run out of space anyways uh, but this shouldn't matter we'll, we'll fill in this little gap when uh, when when the stone's gone and we can actually put things down so that's that. Uh, we'll probably end up putting another two or three down. So let's see. So this thing's taking in 57 kilowatts right now. We need to... Let's see. I don't think we need these things here. I think that stuff's powered from the other way. So that's fine. Let me rearrange these power poles so we can get these things in. Uh, we needed arms and I didn't bring arms. Go figure. So... If we open up the build menu here, we're going to try and put them... Um, we have nine, right? We have nine of them. We'll try and put them on this ring here. Uh, no, we'll put them on this ring because we only have nine, so it's going to be a little, a little wonky. So we'll just do that ring for now. Uh, can we even fit them in that ring? No, they're huge. Um, which way do we want this to be going? Could we... Um... Well, let me see first. Can we convey her through that little leg? Because if we can't, then... The conveyor system's gonna be a little wonky. It's gonna be wonky, huh? Okay. Nope, it's not the one I want. So, hmm, what do we have on this thing? We have uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 outputs, right? So what if we just have a dedicated one to each one, I guess? I don't know a good way of, of feeding these because of the way the, uh, the entrances are. There's only three entrances. 
The backside right there doesn't look like it has one. So we have to come through the sides. We could do it like this and then have the uh have the belt kind of squiggly lining around the leg is pretty much all we can do. Can we fit all nine right here? I don't think we can. So we're going to have to go on this line. And then we'll just... We'll just space it in a way that kind of allows us to fit all nine. So that we can, uh, we can start launching these things right now. Let me uh, let me place these down because uh, that's that's four, right? You know what? No, we'll just place eight right now. We'll place eight. The ninth one can can just sit there, so that way we kind of keep some symmetry here. Um, these things are huge, <laughs> which I kind of don't like. They uh, I don't know. They just take up a whole lot of space, but they're, they're gonna they're gonna help us get this thing done. So it's fine. Let's go here. Okay, so that's going to be those guys doing that. Let me turn this thing off because that's kind of annoying to keep seeing the little flashy lights. Uh, so we have a thousand coming in. Um, if we can, right, let's try and get this to go in a way that we only use one belt. We're going to leave the filter off for right now because it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull the, uh, the things. Okay, can we do this? Ooh, ooh. So we can do that. Let's see if we can actually arm it in. We can, and we can. Okay, cool. So all we gotta do is go around in a circle, and it's it's actually simpler than I thought. I thought we wouldn't be able to go through the leg, but we can kind of kind of clip through the tip of it. So that's fine. Uh, and then we can just wrap it all the way around, and just reconnect it into there. So it's just feeding into a. A, uh, endless loop here let's do this as well so we have each corner of the tower feeding out so we have just all of the oops I didn't want to do that uh, we need that off please before it starts spitting out drones okay so that's that done let me go ahead and put the arms in and power everything up and then we can start launching and completing the sphere today or at least the first step maybe I don't think this is just full-on completed but uh, we still have a lot of research we need to do to get some more stuff for it. Uh, oh, that's why we needed deuterium, man, because we uh, we can't really make the green cubes right now. The green cubes are are what we need to progress, and we're really, really, really slow at making those right now. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Right? This, this, this. And then we can connect this one in right none of these are firing just yet because we don't have any power down which is fine uh, if we do this can we cover a lot of them we can do three three and three uh, let me grab some of these then right they're over in our tower this guy here let's grab a couple of you we don't need 500 uh, let's do you know what 20 is fine let's just do that for now right and then we can power this thing uh, from right there and right there. I don't want to power that one because it's going to connect the thing in. So then we'll do that one and we'll do this one and then it's going to connect everything in and everything's going to start launching. So there we go. Everything's powered up. Everything is eating up the rockets. And here we go. Everything's going to start launching. And there they all go. So that's pretty sweet. So now that should complete the uh, the thing a lot, a lot, a lot quicker. So let's see. It's still 720 things. We have a group of them coming in. Uh, are these going to go into the same original ones that we had last episode? Or are they going to start new ones? Uh... I think they're going to fill up the old ones before it moves on to the new ones. I think is how that's going to work. So let's just see. If we click on you... Nope, I wanted to click on... There we go. Uh, so yes, we still need 720. We are Struggle City right now on power. Uh, that's something I'm really, 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 really struggling with right now. Um, all I can really do is start expanding the uh, the... 
the reactors and stuff and trying to get that squared away a little bit easier, but um, I don't know, just not really interested in, in, in the reactors. This uh, sphere thing seems a lot cooler in my opinion, so I'm just trying to get this built. Uh, so we currently have 5.7. We're going to jump a little bit more once the, uh, the sets get there. So if we go here... Um, I don't know. I, I feel like having more of these down right now is kind of dividing the power up. But I could be wrong. Um, I also I also think these would be better if I was to uh, to put these in the uh, the equator belt instead of leaving them here, because the equator always has an, an angle on the star. Well, I guess this spot does too. It looks like. But okay, so yeah, let me uh, let me let me fast forward here real quick, and hopefully we get this uh, the sphere built up and going here. We have plenty of these guys to go. We just need these things to process through and launch, uh, which is taking a little lo longer than normal, I think, because it is a little low on power. Maybe not. I'm not sure, but we'll have this thing done here in just a second. Okay, so as we are wrapping up here, we are currently at 691. Uh, this group here is going to put us at 698, and then we got 22 to go. So we're just about done with the Dyson Sphere initial bit here, I think. I think there's more to it, but I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so those are the rockets heading on over to the star. Uh, something I, I guess I didn't notice last episode, but these uh, the big pillar things that are orbiting it, those start off small from when the rocket gets there. They're tiny. But uh, as we... That's weird. Like, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, but yeah, they they, tar they start off small. Like that one off in the distance is tiny um, compared to the rest of these. And then they get big. And I think the max size are these guys over here. Uh, if I can slow down just a smidge. I think this guy right here. I think this one's max size. Um, I just don't want to... I want to go into orbit with these things. But I don't know if I can. I don't think I really can because I just go right through the, uh, I just go right through the things. So we're gonna head this way a second. Let me slow down a bit more. That should be fine, right? Looks pretty cool. Uh, so if we open up this screen, nope, this screen over here, uh, we can see there's 24 of these things. They're just all about done. Uh, we should be able to click on these, right? Yep, 30 out of 30. Uh, we should be seeing the last group of rockets arriving, I believe, any minute now. Unless they already ar arrived while we were here, which could have likely happened. I don't think there's a way for me to check other than going back, I think. Um, so we're making a total of 66.8. I don't see any more things coming, so if there was anything else, they should have been here by now. Okay, so let's see in this screen here. Um, can we do any more things to this? No. Latitude upgrade needed. Upgrade needed. Um, okay, so that means we probably have to do this upgrade, right? I don't think we have the stuff for it is the thing. So this gives us more latitude. Uh, we need 2,000 green cubes. I don't think we have that. I think we have the other stuff, but I don't think we have the, the green. So we're going to start it, even though we're probably not going to have it finished. We're going to head on back to the planet and see what's what. Um, I think we're going to need more rockets because I guess the Dyson Sphere is just us covering it in those things. Um, I thought it was going to fill in and put, like... A shell around the star but I guess not uh, maybe it is the upgrades that we need oh it is making some pretty good uh, some pretty good way on it I don't I don't think we have 2,000 greens but I could be wrong it's been a minute since we've been making them so maybe um, this was the other power source I was talking about as well the artificial Sun thing or artificial star but that's that's a ways out so we might not get there eventually or we will get there eventually but not now. Uh, so this is going to finish. We went past the planets because I was looking at the thing. Oops. Let's go ahead and head back. And we should see in just a second what we're working with here. Um, we had 2,000 greens. That's surprising. I did not realize we had that many. Can I... 
Can I? Oh, we're out of fuel. Okay. Let me uh, let me wiggle my way back. Okay, so we're back here. Um, this is kind of what I was worried about, right? Because some of these are getting it. Uh, we're we're getting 1.6 megawatts out of some of these. 1.4 on that one. But as we go down the list here, if it's not in the sunlight right now. Um, it's not making any power. Like, these guys back here aren't actually on doing anything. And they're draining. So once this thing drains, then it loses its efficiency. And then we we start basically over again. So I don't know where a good place to put these would be. Like, here's not terrible because a lot of them are still getting powered. But, I mean, once we... I don't know. Once we... We figure something else out here, I guess. I don't know. Um, so this should let us... Ah, there we go. So now we can put even more of these things in. And it looks like maybe we can even put them closer together. Um, if I click this, does that stop the thing? It does stop the thing. But it also pauses the world, so... Um, that's a thing. So we can't actually even it out. So if we do it, it'll be kind of off-center. And that's going to annoy me. Uh, but we can do this. So every other one. So uh, going up, we can squeeze two in. Or we can do just like we did over here. And then leave the middle empty. So if it's going to make the same amount of power, right? Let's make it 66.8. Uh, so then it should just double it. Going to another r r uh, row. Um, but we're not... We're not really pulling that power in is my issue. Kind of why I don't want to do that. Let's see. How many cargo rockets we have left? No more in there. We have a bunch on the belt. I think we had 800 when we started. 900 when we started. We're making 700 watts right now. We're needing 600. Something's not running because we should be pulling 900 to a, a, a megawatt or whatever that thing is. Or Is it a megawatt? Are we already rocking megawatts? Yeah, whatever, whatever's after megawatt, we were pulling one. Yeah, see, it's going up again. It's at 900. So, uh, something's running. I don't know what is. Oh, wait, we just did this, didn't we? Oh, so, so this tree doesn't have, like, a list of it. It just changes after you research it. Okay, so we can do we can do even more of that. So then it would add another layer to the sphere that we can add on to. Let me just see how many of these green cubes do we have right now? Do we have a bunch? We have 20 in that thing. And we don't have any over here. So that means we we don't have any cubage right now. Uh That's not good. Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to end up having to do here in between episodes is research these things, right? However many of these there is going to be, which means I have to get my green cubes situated. Um, I got to figure out where I'm lacking over here in our, our manufacturing area and then try and square that away. And then hopefully we can go ahead and do these ones as well. The ray transmission efficiencies, maybe those will help out and 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 get it to where it's pulling more power maybe i don't know we're we're really hurting on power um but yeah i guess i'll have to figure that one out but yeah that's gonna be it for today's episode hope you guys enjoyed as always and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching